lovely people and welcome back to my channel um, so today I'm going to be sharing some of my current favourite things that I like I it's one of the videos that I do like to watch I know at one point a few years ago it was quite popular and that people were doing like a monthly favourites I tend to have more seasonal favourites so it's probably not a video that I'm going to do very often um, but I just thought I would share especially as I said like in my previous video I can't always do charity shop videos which is what I have been doing because there's not always enough stuff to share which is the case at the moment one of these items actually is a charity shop find so i have a couple of environmentally friendly things i've got some food and two sort of what I'd sort of class of beauty i'm not massively into makeup or beauty so it tend to be something that you're not going to see i have a decaf tea which i'm going to have a swig of because it is night time this was the chance that i had to film so i thought do it decaf tea if you're one of my lovely subscribers hi bit of a different video but i hope you stick around and i hope you enjoy it still anyway so like i said i'm gonna have a swig and we will get going so the first things i'm going to share i could not recommend enough so my mother-in-law watches these hi heather um and she will nod and agree to this um due to her lovely son <laughs> my dear of half we get through an awful lot of travel mugs. Um, so he braces, he has a race car. Um, he So we're at, he's outside a lot, in a garage. We're at tracks, you know, we're away for a weekend sometimes, track days. These things can get expensive, especially you know what it's like. Can you imagine like, you know what it's like with concerts and things like that and like a race track, you know, once they've got you there inside, they're gonna, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg in drinks. And he loves a hot drink, especially tea or coffee. Um, he's not a fan of hot chocolate. We have had these for about a year. I bought his first, he raved about it. So I got myself one. We've now bought the father-in-law one. We've bought his wife one. I've recently been and bought one for a friend because that's how much we really like them. He has admitted, which is probably why we've got through so many. We've had various ones, we've had plastic and all sorts. Um, he's dropped this in the garage and it didn't damage it so I'm um, if you're new I'm dyslexic so I'm not going to attempt to say that I'm not sure I've not said it yet and I've not heard it be said so then I don't know what it is and um, it's like the other thing with dyslexia the name of what this material is if you can hear it has completely gone out of my head so that's another thing with dyslexia a lot of people think it is just like reading and spelling it's not it's coordination um organization timekeeping and we do tend to forget words as well or mispronounce words not because we haven't read them it's just it's to do with our, the way our brain works at some point i probably will do a video on some of the ins and outs of my dyslexia because obviously everybody is a bit different but it's part of who i am and i'm not embarrassed about it and like i said it it involves more things i think than some people realize but anyway, back to me travel mug. So it's not one of the ones with the handles on. You do have this rubber bit here, which is sort of, I can move it, you can tell. It's like this bit's like indented a bit and it goes on. But to be honest with you, I've made drinks, literally made it to take it up to the garage and I've picked up that bit and you cannot tell there's a hot drink here, which is probably why they work so well, um, the way they're insulated and why it keeps drinks hot for so long. Because when I first did it, when I first bought him this and I made him a drink, he came down one of the times because he pops down for a wee and stuff like that from the garage. And he was like, oh, I had, ended up having to unscrew the lid to let it cool down. He says, because I was trying to drink it. He said, got to an hour and a half, two hours in. He said, and I just unscrewed the lid. So the way it works to drink is you push this bit here, which opens up here, and then you drink in there. So if we unscrew the lid, I'll show you. I'm not going to show you inside because it goes up the garage and sometimes it does not come down for a few days um, and it is well used. You've got this bit here inside. So when I push back on that bit, it seals that. And like I said, he dropped it. It didn't leak. It's not damaged the lid at all. You can t There's marks on it. It's well used. It's definitely well loved, but it did not dent. Um, when I bought it, it was about £13 in Asda recently seen them on offer for nine pounds and i've also bought so i said bought a few for a few people um i have also had them from tesco as well but no not tried them for cold drinks yet 
hot drinks. I'm going to get a bigger one for when we go away racing on weekends and stuff like that. Just put hot water and stuff in. Um, but no, really recommend these. So my one charity shop find is this lovely bag. I love butterflies. This was brand new in the charity shop, which I didn't realise when I first found it. I've had this about four years now. Um, so it's got like a little string on with a little tag with a price on it. It was either, because it's been four years now, it's either 99p or about £1.20. No, it wasn't really expensive, but it's next originally. I think it was originally about four or three pounds. Um, it's been washed, lives in my handbag. When I go charity shop shopping, a lot of what I buy that you've seen in videos has been in here. Um, I've really got into the habit nicely of coming home, unpacking my shopping, and then just folding it back up and just popping it back into my handbag. And like I said, I've washed it and it's it's just it's a lot nicer than a carry bag as well, isn't it? And it's better for the environment as well. So it's a win-win all round. I also have from next, I bought this in the sale. I want to say, I think yeah, back beginning of it was yeah, 2020, so just after 2019 Christmas. One of their Christmas ones, which I like to use. Um, but yeah, that was from next in the sale. Another bag. Again, I have two of these ones. Um, and these, again, live in my handbag. So I don't do my main food shopping. These These are like, when you've popped out and you've gone in somewhere and you thought, oh, could do with a loaf of bread or some, you know, bits for the kids' sandwiches or something like that. Um, this, not so long ago, was lovingly, very nicely repaired by the mother-in-law. Thank you um because you'd be amazed at what you can get in these and the weights they will carry so not all in one go but i've had a bottle of wine in here i've had milk in here you know your large bottles of tomato sauce bottle of lemonade um i think i had three packs of smoothies in here which is probably why it needed a repair but no it's been repaired nicely you can't even tell where the repair is again it washes nice they're not have the heavy it's nicer than a carrier bag although if you were doing, I don't know, if you're buying underwear or something or a pregnancy test or something like that, or your tampons, if you not didn't want to show it off to the world, you know, you wouldn't want to probably put it in here because it is see-through. The only thing I don't like about this one, I said I had two, my other one, um, the handles are longer because this one, when you pop, pop it on your arm, I'll get it on right, it's right up under the arm, which it's a bit uncomfortable when you've got stuff in it, so I either tend to have it like that or... Depends what's in it, I have it over my arm right there. But my other one handles much longer and it does sit quite nicely on your shoulder. Again, like I said, washable in the handbag. I've even had it in my coat pocket before now. Um, I've seen them in home bargains as well. They are becoming quite popular. My other one's by a company called Sass and Bell and they do have a website and they've got, um, they do travel mugs and all sorts as well. But yeah, I really like those. Another bag, but this time it's a backpack. I do really like the backpack. And like I said, seasonal. So this will be going back into my wardrobe now because it is a dark colour. Although I do sometimes still use it because of the amount of pockets. I, as a mum, prefer a backpack. It's on my back. A couple of different things in it. Weight, weight is distributed nicely. And we have to carry an EpiPen for my son because he's allergic to peanuts. Um, so it's not a case of like me having a nice little purse um, in a little handbag or anything like you know I've got this EpiPen that I need to carry around and then if we're out all day like antihistamine as well and it's got lots of lovely pockets um, and it is waterproof I don't know if it's going 100% definitely but I've been to Cornwall like this tends to be my holiday bag um, because of the amount of pockets running about and about so I can have a drink in drink for my son and like I said the EpiPen um, and yeah, it's been to Cornwall and it rained a lot because it was October and nothing inside got wet, which I was really impressed with. It's Faith, which I had from Debenhams when you could go into Debenhams. Last time I checked, they did have it online still and they've got it in a little bit darker than this, like a grey colour, which is what my sister's got. So you have a pocket here, right underneath on the bottom, which no, there isn't one in there. You know, the, the carrier, bag, carrier bags, the plastic ones. Um, but, but the thicker ones tend to sometimes keep one of them in because like you dirty your shoes because you know what kids are like. It's good to have a carry bag like sick or anything like that in the bottom. I must have used it um, and not realised and replaced it. And then you've got this smaller front pocket here 
another pocket here and there's two side pockets then you have the main compartment you've got this little back bit here then obviously your big main bit and then if i turn it around this side you can see you've got another little zip pocket here it's where i tend to put my phone and then some little holders here for like pens and that's where my umbrella is not that we need it at the moment hasn't this weather been lovely but no i do really like a backpack um so i'm transitioning into my radley one which is pink which i will probably share when i do like a more of a proper spring summer favorites but no i just i really love a backpack i've had this since 2019 um it's got the adjustable straps oh i've got a pocket there's another little pocket here at the back as you can see not massive but that'd be nice and secure to put something in wouldn't it i don't know if you're walking around a really big city like you know london or something and you wanted to put your phone in here it's going to be hard to get to isn't it um but yeah so like i said i really like it because of the amount of pockets that it has i'm gonna share i'm gonna cast them as beauty no i'm not gonna share those actually this product then i'll go into a couple of beauty products this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea but going more with the environmental bit period pants i've been using these since last summer a lot more information than maybe some of you want to know i use tampons prefer tampons however since i had my son i find um a leak whereas i didn't before with them um so i was using pads but pads are uncomfortable they're plastic i've leaked before now um sometimes they can make you a bit irritated and someone shared these on um instagram last year and i thought oh and she said you know she was a bit unsure herself and she really liked them so i thought give them a go so i bought two pairs um singly on their own they are six pounds um you can buy a pack of three i think they're either like 12 or 30 pounds i know they're not a lot of money there's different colors there's mini, there's overnight now, which is new, um, and they do a midi one as well. Like I said, they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. I like them for, if you think, oh, if I look, because I've got an app and I'm like, oh, I'm due on in a day or two. Because you know, it's like you can you cycle. Some people it doesn't, for some women it doesn't, but for some it does. You know, you can come on a little bit earlier, a little bit later, and pop these on and know you're secure. So there's nothing to remove because there's all different ones out there, isn't there now? Um, so there's nothing to remove. You've got this padding here. And it's all you do is you wear them. And when you come to change, um, you just rinse them with cold water and you pop them in the washing machine as normal. Apart from you can't use fabric softener or bleach and you can't tumble dry them. But like I said, I've been using them for last year and they wash really well. No stains. Um all washes out fine um still really in good condition still <clears throat> tickle no so yeah still in really good condition they wash really well and then they've just bought out the overnight one which is eight pounds so your the pad bit comes up a little bit higher at the front but at the back it's literally all the way up to the waistband and I was really comfortable so I've got a pair that I've wore and I was really comfortable when I wore these like I said not everyone's cup of tea I think especially for girls who just starting their periods they're really good because you never know when you're going to come on but in the past even when I've had a pad on especially with the wings on um I've still leaked a bit over onto like my jeans and stuff and then out at night as well um, you can wear the really big pads, which can, again, can be uncomfortable. I don't know anybody else, but sometimes when I'm wearing them, especially the really thick, you know, for when you can be really heavy, um, I'm just like, you literally feel like you're wearing a nappy. And sometimes I'm walking, I'm thinking, can they hear my pad? Like, I can hear my pad. I'm like, you know, when you convince yourself of something, I'm like, I can hear my pad. Surely other people can hear this pad moving. So there's none of that with these. And like I said, wash really well. Again, not everyone's a cup of tea, but I really like them. And I think especially for teenage girls, young teenage girls who are just starting out, they could be quite good so that, you know, there's less chance of them getting embarrassed with 
leaking if they suddenly come on because like you know when you first start your periods are literally all over the place aren't they a couple of product sort of beauty sort of products i'm not massively into makeup or beauty so it won't really be something i share much um this first one is what i use on my son's hair so he wears it long and over to the side um but he has a double crown that sticks up a bit as well and because it is longer you do need to style it and my sister used this on her daughter and i thought oh i'll try that and i did when we were on holiday with them and it really suited his hair so it is shockwaves ultra strong power hold 24 hour hold fast drying easy to brush and humidity resistant gel spray i can't remember how much i paid for this but we really like it we sort of brush his hair calm it down a bit and then spray a little bit of this and most of the time when he comes back from school it's still in the same sort of place when we left it and it brushes out quite nicely at night sort of a beauty product now it is 100% pure and organic rose water. There's a girl, a girl, lady at work. Um, she's almost 50 and she just looks so good for her age and her skin's really nice. And I asked her what she used and said so she uses Nivea and rose water. So I went looking and this is Holland and Barrett's. I think it was about £12. You can't buy it in store, but you can buy it online and you can either have it delivered to your house, which is what I did, or you can have it, I'm sure it's free if you have it delivered in store, but I wasn't going to go into a Holland about and there's not one really that close to me so I thought I'd just have it delivered I've had this since about the summer it is uh, 120 mil and it's just down to just below the label now so you spray it on I don't I spray it at my face obviously go over my face but yeah I spray you can use a pad spray and then massage it in I do suffer with redness on my cheeks and I find this calms it down quite nicely. Um, I find my spots are a little bit better since I've been using this as well, so I'm going to cough there. <coughs> um, a bit better. And especially last summer, I didn't keep it in the fridge or anything, but I think because it's glass, um, it was nice and cool. And it was so nice in the summer, like after coming in, I've washed my face and everything, I sprayed this and it was really nice and cooling, so I do really like this. Next one is Perfume. It is the white Frasier, 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 and Pear. This is Tesco's version of the Jo Malone. The first time I had this was actually Aldi, but since I've run out, Aldi haven't had it in again. This tends to be what I use like autumn, just going autumn, winter, maybe a little bit into spring, because then I move on to the, again, I either have it from Aldi or Tesco, depending on who's got it at the time, the lime basil and mandarin one i do have other perfumes but more of my day-to-day -day perfume this tends to be this was 10 pounds in tesco and i think it's about six pounds it's under a tenner definitely in aldi food sort of products now my last ones um this is a very much favorite of my son's it is tesco's and we specifically use this because i said he's got his not allergy We've tried them in this one and it's safe. I do hate it. If anyone else has got allergies or they've got children with allergy, allergies or relatives, when they do the new and improved recipe and you're just like, why? Why? For allergy sufferers, it's no good at all when they do that. So it's Tesco's Red Pesco. Red Pesto. And obviously it's pine nuts and it does say on the back, um, may contain peanuts and other nuts um and we tried him a little bit with it and he was fine because what he really likes you know when you go to the harvester and you've got the the salad bar and you've got the pasta which i'm pretty sure probably is a pesto um he really likes that so i had a look i bought this did some for me obviously tried him with a little bit to see how he got on and he was okay so he ate some more and he loves it and we've been doing this now for two years now so I'm really hoping Tesco, please don't change the recipe. Um, and what I tend to do in the summer is I've got a big glass bowl with a lid on and I make a big batch of this and keep it in the fridge when it's, you know, you want lunch um, and it's nice and cold because you can warm the pasta up. I take it to work. Sometimes I had ham or prawns or leftover, you know, if you've got chicken about or anything like that. And we just, we really like this and my son really likes it. You know, it's like if you've got kids, if you find something they will eat, um, you you get it and you stock up on it. Another one of my son's food products. These are two things from Marks and Spencer. So don't really do my food shopping there. But he likes 
the pie clits, so crumpets, pie clits. <coughs> right, little tickle going on. Um, but since COVID, when a lot of the manufacturers stopped doing all of their ranges of stuff, we find it we found it hard to get the pie clits, and I found them in Marks and Spencers. So the six, you get six. They're the buttermilk ones, and it says a natural source of vitamin D. Um, he really likes them warmed up with a bit of jam on and they're a pound for six. So what I'll tend to do is I'll buy like three or four packs in one go um, and then I'll there'll be a pack on the go for sort of the next few days and the others I'll, I'll split up into twos and freeze them. And he really likes them. Like I said, again, if you find something your children will eat, you buy it. And so when I'm there, because obviously I don't go all the time, um, I like to treat myself to their four... Victoria, their four mini Victoria sponge cakes. Classic all butter sponge filled with strawberry jam and vanilla buttercream with a sugar dusting. And they're just these little ones and they are Marks and Spencer's Victoria sponge is the nicest Victoria sponge I've ever had. Recently got my sister to try one and she loved it. She's gone on holiday actually um, to a centre parks and she's taken a box with her. <laughs> um, but yeah, really like them. But again, it does say, which says on a lot of stuff, my son's not actually had these because they've just seen on the back. Um, nut, um, not suitable for nut and soya allergies. But he doesn't have these. He likes chocolate cake, which thankfully he's just allergic to peanuts. So he's okay with um, like hazelnut and stuff like that. But no, I really like these as well. So that is everything. Like I said, some of my things change seasonal, so it won't be something that I do every month. Weather's looking good this weekend, so hopefully might, don't know, might go to a car boot, don't know. So I will be back next week with another video. It might be a charity shop slash car boot or um, not too sure. But no, I hope you enjoyed that. And I don't know if there's anything that you really liked in that, maybe comment below. Um, but yeah, definitely my big recommendation the travel mugs um but have a good week everybody and i will see you all again next week and thank you for watching bye